Hello, I'm your host, Casey Del Basso, and Fuse starts now. On Friday, October 24th, during Alumni Weekend, Fairfield Police were alerted about a potential bomb threat at the Sea Grape Cafe and the Inn at Fairfield Beach around 10 p.m. Though the grape decided not to evacuate its customers after the news of the threat, they did evacuate the bar around 1140 when someone pulled the fire alarm. No suspects have been identified at this time. On October 26th, a pipe burst in Bano Science Center causing water damage in room 363 and the rooms underneath. Facilities management responded to this report quickly and repaired the pipe, which is suspected to have burst as a result of an overly tight thread. And now to Caitlin with World News. Thanks, Casey. On the evening of October 28th, a $200 million unmanned rocket carrying 5,000 pounds of food and experimentation supplies to the International Space Station exploded six seconds after its initial launch. While they reevaluate and plan for future supply missions, NASA assures the public that the space station crew has enough food to last them well into the next year. Here's Sarah with entertainment. Thanks, Caitlin. Well, it looks like Chris Martin just can't hold down a girl this year. The Coldplay frontman has evidently called it quits with Hunger Games star Jennifer Lawrence. The two are rumored to be dating for the past four months following his split from his wife of 10 years, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Jen's split with X-Men co-star Nicholas Holt. Their relationship, however, was never confirmed by either of the duo. Marvel has released their plans for the next nine movies, including new films for new heroes or bringing back the fan favorites, such as Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Captain America Civil War, Thor Ragnarok, and the Avengers Infinity War. The Avengers will be split into two separate films, however, in order to map out the broad and epic nature of the Infinity comic arcs. Several of the new contenders announced included Doctor Strange, the Black Panther, Captain Marvel, and the Inhumans. Also in this release, Marvel laid out its plans for characters such as Iron Man, who won't have any standalone films in the foreseeable future, but will be taking a major role in the third Captain America. Hawkeye, in addition, is currently in talks to appear in that film as well. That's all for entertainment. Here's to Edtha. Thanks, Sarah. Two more wins added to the defending MAC champions regimen as Todd Kress's volleyball team beat both Ryder and St. Peter's at Alumni Hall on Alumni Weekend. Red Sea Madness was a success last Thursday. Many dressed up in red to support the Stags basketball teams. Both the men's and women's team looked to rebound after a disappointing season last year. Lastly, congrats to Sierra Weiner who won the Max Swimmer of the Week award after posting three individual victories and breaking two program records. Now on to you, Casey. Thanks, Edvette. And that's all the time we have for this episode of Fuse. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.